to run, to rejoice, to embrace every moment that comes your way. It's your life, and it's our passion to care for it. Sanford Health. Health lives here. We hear from a truck driver about how Southeast Tech's CDL classes benefited her. Plus, we hear from officials in Sioux Falls about the outbreak of coronavirus in South Dakota. Good morning, this is Kevin Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. The Summer League Tournament came to a close yesterday and Kettle Land Media Group has brought you coverage of the games all week long. Let's send it over to Kettle Land Sports' Travis Fossing for a look at yesterday's big matchups. The South Dakota women and NDSU men are Summit League champions. The Coyotes finished the regular season a perfect 16-0 in the Summit League and swept rival SDSU. But could they win the big one? The Coyotes and Jackrabbits renewed their rivalry in the Summit League Championship. Second quarter tied at 20, the top-seeded Coyotes grabbed the lead. Monica Arns catches and connects for three. She had 10 points. USD leads 23-20. After tying the game at 23, SDSU jumps on top. Peyton Burkhard corrals the cross-court pass and sinks a triple. She had seven points. 32-27 state at halftime. Third quarter, South Dakota continues to trail by three until Chloe Lamb steps back and buries three of her 11 points. We're tied at 38. Later, Coyotes by two and counting. Madison McKeever steps twice, rises up and buries a triple. She had 11. USD leads 43-38. But SDSU battles back trailing by one. Lindsey Thunick drives and dishes to Riley Cascio Jensen, who lets fly and the barrage of three-pointers continues. 47-45 jacks after three. Riley at 13. But South Dakota starts a final frame with seven straight points. Kira Duffy gives Gives to Hannah Shervin, who misses once but not twice, and the foul. She had a team high 15 points, 52 47 Coyotes, and the celebration is on as South Dakota claims its first Summit League Tournament Championship since 2014, beating rival SDSU 63 58. Well, it's something that they've worked so hard for, and they've worked hard in the past, and it's something that's eluded us in the past. And so to see them be able to smile and relax and enjoy it was something that's really, really special. We've been in these situations for the last three years, and for us, that we put a lot of minutes in off the court and on the court, and for us to get that moment and seeing that buzzer go off and we won it today was what we need in the moment we've been waiting for for a long time. The Coyotes are Summit League champions and on their way to the NCAA tournament. The women's selection show is scheduled for Monday. The NDSU men also threw to the NCAA tournament as the Bison beat rival UND 89-53 in the nightcap. Vinny Shahid, with 25 points, was named tournament MVP. That brings the Summit League championships to the close. USD and NDSU are champions. Reporting from the Premier Center, Travis Fossing, Kettle Land Sports. Thanks a lot, Travis. So, well, temperatures have been rising here in Kettle Land, but will that trend continue? Well, let's send it over to meteorologist Scott Munt to find out. Scott? Well, we are enjoying a warm day. Well, what will be a warm day once we get rid of the fog in eastern and southeastern Kettle Land? Temperatures will warm. We'll have numbers in the 50s and 60s for much of the area. There will be a couple of us still stuck in the 40s. That may happen in and around Watertown. And then after today, temperatures start to cool. A cold front moves through for tonight. We'll have stronger northwest winds for tomorrow. Temperatures will cool. And that cooling trend will last into this coming weekend. We'll have to watch for that chance of rain and snow, too, for this weekend and even into early next week. We'll have more details on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thanks, Scott. A special class held at Southeast Tech is helping people earn their Class B CDL. A Class B CDL is a certified driver's license required to operate vehicles from service trucks to large buses. Jocelyn Rabb is a truck driver for Suka Construction in Sioux Falls. She took the class a year ago and now works full time. We do mostly in town work. Um, sometimes we go just briefly out of town, but not very far. She helps haul debris from construction sites or equipment to the sites. She says the job has brought her a lot of experience and many friends along her travels. 
South Dakota officials announced the state's first possible death from the coronavirus. There are five suspected cases across South Dakota, including one probable death in Pennington County. Nome says it's not confirmed that the death was directly caused by coronavirus. Yesterday, the city of Sioux Falls held a joint news conference with Avera and Sanford to talk about the virus. We're not asking people to hit the panic button and lock themselves in the house, you know, but social distancing is a good practice. So uh, for me personally, that may look like staying home with my kids tonight instead of maybe going out for pizza, uh, things like that. Hand sanitizer can also be very good too, uh, but soap and water is really the best thing to use. Wash your hands often. The droplets from the virus, from another person that's infected with the virus, you can get from surfaces. If you are sick at all, absolutely stay home. I think we've shared that a number of times, but that can't be stressed enough that if you are not well, you should be staying home and then you should be contacting your provider uh, for further um, information and guidance. We have a special coronavirus page here on Kelloland.com. To find it from our main page, hover over the news tab here in the upper left part of your screen and click on the coronavirus tab below that. With the coronavirus now in South Dakota, some schools are taking precaution and closing to sanitize buildings. The West Central School District posted on Facebook that they will be closed today. In the post, the school district says one of the five people who tested positive for COVID-19 has children in the school district. Officials with the district say each school in the district will undergo a deep cleaning. The post adds that they will have an update for families later today. Scott? And in weather, we have that dense fog advisory across southeastern Kelloland. The visibility will improve over the next couple of hours. We'll have sunshine this afternoon, mild temperatures, but that will come to an end starting tomorrow. As the cold front moves through, it may spark light rain showers during the evening hours and early tonight. Then for tomorrow, we'll have stronger northwest winds, and that will help bring in the cooler weather. So for today, we'll have temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Tonight, our numbers will eventually fall to the 30s with those isolated shower chances, mainly during the evening and early tonight. Cooler tomorrow with stronger northwest winds, and you can always check that seven-day forecast while you're here at Kelloland.com. Thanks, Scott, and thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Until then, you can get up-to-the-minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Now go have a great day.